will do it. Two years later, Wade was angry at himself. He wished things could have been different that night two years ago when Tess revealed herself to him. He wanted nothing more than to hold her, kiss her, tell her he still loved her, that in fact he had never forgotten her, that he thought about her when he was awake and dreamt about her when he was asleep. He had tried to look for her, but Damien disappeared and left no contact information. Wade, are you alright? Andrea looked at him with concern. I just have wedding jitters. He lied. He was going to be married in a few weeks to a woman he did not love. What were you spacing out about? Uh, rehearsing the ceremony in my mind. Oh yeah, I'm kind of worried I'll mess that up too. She smiled kindly at him. Wade smiled back, but he was dying inside. Alone in his room, Wade thought very hard about his situation. He had taken no action for two years. It was time for him to do something about it. Andrea was a very nice person, and it wouldn't be fair for her to be marrying a person who didn't love her back. She deserved someone who truly loved her. Then there were his parents. They would destroy him if they found out he was not going to marry Andrea. But Wade did not care. He had been under the control of his parents for too long. He loved Tess. She loved him back. Hopefully. It didn't matter. He loved her and he might still have a chance to be with her. He decided he would look for her. No one could stop him and he wouldn't stop until he told her that he loved her. Daddy said, stay away from Juliet And I was crying on the staircase Begging you please don't go And Dad said, Romeo take me Somewhere we can be alone I'll be waiting All there's left to do is run You'll be the best